Hello everyone. In this video, we'll understand about what is this principle of consistency. Consider this as a timeline, say time zero, or I can say time T zero, T one, T two, and so on, say T n minus one, T n minus T n. <clears throat> now, the accumulation factor based on this principle of consistency, accumulation factor from time zero to time n will be the same as accumulation factor from t naught to t one multiplied by accumulation factor from t one to t two multiplied by and so on. Uh, accumulation factor from T n minus one comma T n. That is what is this principle. For example, if I consider accumulation factor from time zero to time nine, it is the same as accumulation factor from zero to four multiplied by four to nine. We can, if we know these two, we can find out this or any one is unknown and other two are known means we can find out the other. Same way, we can also say accumulation factor from one to five, from period one to period five is the same as one to three. I'm sorry, this is multiplication times three to let's say 4.5 times 4.5 to 5. So it can be split in any way. This principle is applicable in case of compound interest in efficient market. Now we will do one question based on this principle of consistency. Question is rupees 4,73,800 is invested at time T0 uh, and the proceeds at the time 10 are 8,44,600. Calculate uh, the accumulation factor from seven period 7 to 10 if these accumulation factors are known, which are the known things. 0 to 9 is known, uh, and then 9 to, sorry, uh, 8, 2 to 4 is known, 2 to 7 is known, and 4 to 9 is known. So if I want say 7 to 10 that is possible we have 0 to 9 so we will break this at 9 7 to 9 times 9 to 10 now this is known 0 to 9 is known given a 0 to 9 is 1.8. That can be splitted as A. So we may notice uh, that we can split this as 0 to 7 times 7 to 9. Okay. From this, I can say A 7 to 9 is nothing but 1.8 divided by A 0 to 7. Okay. Now, this is given. 0 to 10 is given. So, A 0 to 10 is known to be A Zero to nine times a so this is nothing but zero to ten is the eight double four six double zero divided by 
four seven three eight zero. That is the left hand side. This is known to be one point eight times a nine comma zero. So from this we can say a. I'm sorry. A nine comma zero. is equal to 844600 divided by 473800 times 1.8 let me divide this Eight four four six double zero divided by four seventy three eight hundred divided by point eight. Okay. Now. What are all known? We need to find out this zero to seven. A zero to seven can be split as A. What are all available? Two to seven is available, so I'll write it as zero to two into A two to seven. So this can be written as a zero to two times two to seven is known to be one point three two. Then we can also split this zero to nine as a zero to two times. A two to four times A four to nine. So this is known to be one point eight. One point eight should be equal to A zero to two. Two to four is known in the question. One point one. Four to nine is also known. One point four five. So based on that. I can say zero to two is one point eight divided by one point one times one point four five. Evaluate this also. Divided by one point one. This will be one point one two eight five three. Okay. Now we need. We got this. So we can substitute that here. Therefore, zero comma seven is equal to. A zero two, which we found out as one point one two eight five three times one point three two. That is one point four eight nine six six. Now. A seven comma nine. What is that? Here it is. One point eight by A zero comma seven. So that will be one point eight divided by one point four eight nine double six. We have to be get. One point eight divided by one point four eight nine double six. 
we get 1.20 So now we can go back and do the thing what is required, 7 comma 9 means therefore a 7 comma 10 is equal to what is that we wrote 7 comma 9. Times. times a 9 comma 10 the 7 comma 9 just now we calculated times 9 comma 10 here it is 0 0.99034 0.99034 so we get that final answer as 1.919666. So that is the final answer for this accumulation factor from period 7 to 10. In case if you find the contents of this video to be useful to you, I request you to please like it, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.